Hey fellow writers, it's Jessica Froberg and today I'm gonna do the AutoTube newbie tag. Okay, question one, how did I find out about AuthorTube? So here's something about me. Um, I research everything. If I need to know uh, something about vacation, I research it. If I need to know how to get somewhere, I research it. Um, if I need to know how to use Twitter, I research it. When I was writing my first book, I really didn't know what I was doing at all. And so uh, one day I just researched like, how to write a first chapter and a video popped up and I was like, ooh, this is cool. And it was Jenna Moresi um, and I got lost in all of her videos and laughed my head off and learned so much and I was really excited. And um, then I branched out and watched Kim Chance, Vivian Reese, and Kristen Martin, and oh, I know I'm forgetting some, um, Sheila and Wrights. Yeah, I had so much fun. And so I kind of learned by being a consumer. I have loved AuthorTube for a long time. So this is me joining it. Question two, what genres do you write in? I write young adult and I write fantasy and thrillers. Um, the thriller is just an outline right now, but I would love to write it one day, but I am a fantasy girl. Hardcore. Question number three, what is your preferred tense, point of view, and category of story? Category of story is always gonna be young adult. Though I really love middle grade. I used to teach elementary school, and so middle grade has a very near and dear place in my heart, but young adult is where I like writing. Point of view, third person past, it's just so logical to me and so like a story but my new whip is first person present and I have thrown a few tantrums about it um, it's really hard it's really really hard but I'll get there question number four are you a plotter pantser or planter I am definitely a plotter when I outline I outline really hardcore I love love outlining but I find when I actually do the drafting, I'm a lot more of a pantser um, for scene structure and a lot of a pantser for characters. It takes me a while, usually two drafts to figure out my characters. Question number five, are you self-published, traditionally published, or yet to be published? Yet to be published. I am in the query trenches right now and I'm still hopeful, we'll see. Question number six, what is the dream publishing house or dream agent you have? I'd say one that loves my book. Like that's all I have. Um, I've researched so many agents and all of them seem so good in so many different ways. So my dream agent or my dream publishing house is one that loves my book. Question number seven, what author two videos can you expect from me and my channel? Um, I debated a long time, like I said, I know author two pretty well. There's dozens of videos on how to write a good query and how to write a first chapter, different things like that. Um, and what I really have is experience. And so a lot of these videos are just going to be me talking about what I've been through and what I've done. It's going to be more, more very personal. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just going to share with you guys what I've done, what helped me, what not just in a story form. So expect a lot of personal things from me. And so hopefully it works. Question number eight. When did I start writing? Um, I think like most authors, I've been writing for forever. Um, I've got lots of notebooks, Scooby-Doo notebooks, full of really, really weird stories from second grade. <laughs> um, but when I started seriously writing and really caring about it, um, I had just given birth to my first son which was four years ago. <laughs> so four years ago, I actually outlined this book and really started caring and drafting it. It took me over two years to draft it, um, just between having kids and such. Um, but after, after the birth of my second son is when I really got serious. I finished the draft of my book I revised it, I went through CPs and betas and pitch wars and now querying. And so I feel like I've been seriously writing for two years. Question number nine, 
what was the first story I ever wrote? Um, I don't know if this counts, like, my little stories about me going through a portal and finding unicorns, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure was not an original idea. Um, but the first, like, serious book that I wrote is the one that I'm querying right now. That's the first one that I finished, the first one that is actually any good, or done, basically. That's the first story I've written. Question number 10, what authors inspired my writing the most? Um, definitely Shannon Hale. I really liked her style and her characters. Um, Gail Carson Levine, Ella Enchanted was my absolutely favorite book. Um, other ones, um, Suzanne Collins, not her Hunger Games though. Well, I love her Hunger Games, don't get me wrong. But she had uh, like a middle grade, I think it's middle grade, middle grade-ish, yeah. Um, series called Gregor the Overlander before she had Hunger Games and I loved that series um, and I loved how fast-paced and clever it was and all the twists so she definitely grabbed me with that series um, recent I don't know I can't even choose so I just realized there's more than 10 questions <laughs> I don't have more than 10 fingers so we're gonna forgo the fingers <laughs> Oh man. Okay, question number 11. Do I plan my writing sessions or do they just happen whenever? As a mom, I feel like both. Um, you definitely have to plan out writing sessions, but I also write in any sort of capacity. Um, I write when I'm on walks with my boys and I pull out my phone and write in the notes section and try and steer with my elbows with the stroller. Um, I write when I'm filling up with gas. I write when my kids are playing and I have some quiet time. So I'd definitely say both. Question number 12, do I write with a computer or by hand, typewriter, blend of both, anything? Um, I definitely write with my laptop. I almost never write anything by hand. My handwriting is horrible. Um, I can't even read it. So definitely laptop. I have pretty fast typing skills. So laptop is my favorite and I love my laptop. Question number 13, last one. What do I look forward to the most with being on AuthorTube? Definitely interaction. I hope you guys comment and talk with me. I wanna hear about what you're doing. Um, I want your questions. I wanna help people. That's basically why I'm on here. I love um, being on Twitter and in the writing community. I get a lot of questions. A lot of people in my DMs asking me questions about things, asking me if I'll beta read for them, different stuff like that. And I love helping people. So I just want YouTube to kind of continue on what I'm doing on Twitter. I wanna help people. Even if it's just hearing what I've been through, if that helps them, or if they have questions, that's basically what I'm most excited about. I love giving people information and links. Ask my CPs. I have all the links for every article or video that you could possibly want. Hey guys, real quick. I filmed and edited my video, and while I was doing it, I just kept getting the feeling that I needed to be doing something more. Um, and so when I said that I wanted to help the community, I mean it. So I've decided that I'll be doing a giveaway every month. Um, it'll start on the first video of the month, and it'll be a raffle copter, and I'll put it in the description, it'll be linked, and it will be a giveaway for something different every month. Um, for the first couple months, I think I'm going to do first chapter beta reads from me. I'm by no ways an editor or perfect at feedback but I have beta read and and I've also been a CP for several people mostly I want to put in I know it's hard to get betas it's really hard to get people to read your book sometimes and so I want to give you guys the opportunity to have a beta read from me and so for right now it's going to be first chapters and just enter the raffle copter it'll have you comment on my video and then you can just copy and paste that comment put it in there and that is the only qualifier um, you can also follow me on Twitter if you want for an extra point I can't wait to start reading some of your work and to help you guys out so that's how I want to be helpful right now 
the giveaways will mostly be beta reads from me but in the future they might be different things but I'm really excited about this I hope you guys are too and I hope you enter because I'm excited to read your work and to help out some people so there you go okay that's the end of my author newbie tag um and it was created by Jenna the Dockwim and I'll tag hers below the original and this is me I'm really excited to be on author tube and I'm hoping that I can be helpful for you guys even if it's just laughing at me <laughs> so yeah I'm really excited and that's me so I'll talk to you guys later and happy writing